why I was loud. I was just telling everybody, you know, this was that we'd be trying to give rounds of applause to everybody for all their hard work. You know, including our assistant coaches, our director of basketball, our administrative people. Just uh, there's a, our, our investment committee. Those five seniors that went in at the end of the game. So uh, it's it's a another it's a uh, benchmark for us that we've been we've been shooting to, to get to the NCAA tournament and then play as long as we can wherever it goes. And that was a great feeling for our team. So we were we were, we were enthusiastic, really pleased. When did you know it was going to be Mitch's day? When you started to see things develop? Oh, I don't. You know, we've seen things from Mitch in practice that are really good, but he's worked so hard with Bakari Alexander and myself and the other coaches just to understand important things in basketball. And he's worked extra to get to this point. So he's got a very high ceiling, as, you, as we all know. This was a good step to give him some gratification for all that hard work. Coach, you guys are so prepared today. Can you just talk about that? <laughs> That's, a, you know what, preparation for a game like this does not happen in one day. Um, if you came to our early drills in October in the summer, we're catching that two feet, we're pivoting, we're passing the ball with to the outside hand, we're valuing each possession. So you play a team like VCU, if you don't value each possession and, and, and keep uh, and, uh, val or take care of the basketball, they're gonna run points on you like crazy. They have 75 points a game. Uh, 20 of those are off transition, uh, defensive transition from turnover. So as long as we can value the ball, get a good shot. But we work on it daily. So the prep was uh, the prep was really minor yesterday as far as 90 minutes of walking around and doing things. We heard so much about habit the last couple of days. Um, did that fuel your guys behind the scenes at all? Yeah. They may have heard that. I, I got to understand that from my uh, my Richmond Spire days. I had several Richmond uh, friends of mine. Uh, obviously, that's a that's a heated rivalry. Uh, sent me some very nice, encouraging texts about <laughs> dealing with the habit. So uh, it's it, it was it, it's good because I, that VCU program has been tremendous for a long time now, and uh, I go way back with them. So really pleased that we could beat such a good team. First time since '94 for U of M. What does that mean to you in this program? Well, you know, it's one of those benchmarks that you look to get to. You know, we, we realize that you can only go so long and not be in the NCAA tournament. Then you can only be in the NCAA tournament so long before you advance more than one or two games. Uh, so now uh, we're in that position. Uh, we got to do everything we can to play as long as we can. And our kids want to. They really like each other, which makes them want to stay here. Does it surprise you that one of your freshmen knew that it had been since '94? They seem clued into what it, what they've accomplished. I didn't know it was till '94. I mean, it, it, the one thing that would tell would tell you uh, a little bit about program is that you know we had people to ask us early in this year that uh, when I was recruiting kids was Michigan ever good in basketball because they were born in 94 95 96 97 the kids that are going to Michigan was Michigan ever good it was like blew us away that how good Michigan I would say Michigan back in the eight in the 70s 80s and 90s was like the Dukes the Floridas the North Carolinas and so not now for us to advance to this point is is good to, another step in the right direction uh, I do stand by it if we if we had not been able to win this game. We're moving in the right direction either way, based on the attitude of the kids, the facilities, the recruiting class that's coming in. So you're a coach watching this game from afar. What does a statement win like your team putting together today say about this team? Um, that they're, they're hard workers. Um, they, they, we have some talent. It's young, developing talent. And they, they, they've developed this year because I, I think if we're playing VCU, back in December or November when we were playing well, but that particular style would have bothered us early. Would Spike Elbrook have been able to do that? Would Glenn have made the plays? Mitch, would he have done those those plays? So it says it says a lot about the, the team's development. Our assistant coach has done a great job of that. Coach, you talked talk a lot this week about how intense that happens defense is. Were you surprised at all with the, the ease you are able to break through? <laughs> it looked it easy may have been easy to you. No, they're, they're in you, but like I said, if you watch Laval Jordan do the ball handling drills, with our guards. Uh, it's very tough to take the ball away from us. We started that second half with the turnovers. They do a great job of that. I mean, they live it. We don't see that very often, and uh, I'm pleased with the 12 uh, turnovers, but I'm not surprised by it because uh, we just don't see that in the Big Ten as much. But I think we prepare every day for that. Uh, every Big Ten team does because of the talent level, the coaching staff. Guys, we got one, more, one or two more questions. How important is psychology going into this? I mean, do you Obviously, there's a lot of technical aspects, but is the psychology important to going into a game like this? You know, I, I thought we had a really positive attitude of going into this, and like you know, the way we, we preach value in the ball. Though, I mean, like I said, if you saw us do pivoting drills, you'd say, 
Yeah, I was teaching that to my fourth grader. And we just we just gonna do it to make sure that we're gonna get a shot every time down the court. So even when you're not there, so uh, it was that was for us to prepare for that and respond was huge against that. How big was it to shake off that? You guys close six and six to the regular season the Big Ten tournament, and we all asked you. you yes, yeah. I think the six and like I said, I I looked at that six and six, and I said, you know, we probably there was one game there that. You know, we were we were probably uh, fell behind, and I mean, we played really well down the stretch on so many games. Uh, people go, "Oh, you went to Purdue," and, and you know that was should have been that was a hard win to get at Purdue, and and we win that uh, Indiana game, and everybody is we're, we're Big Ten champions. So that the Big Ten, if anybody watched it, there are a lot of teams that were going to play 500 ball at different points in their schedule. All right, guys, we gotta get them going. Okay.